Welcome. Welcome to the apocalypse. This is the show that takes you to the future. Whether you want to go or not, follow my hand. Look. This is the ring. It is a powerful ring. You guys, you, kept, you keep on catching me looking at myself. The monitor. That's why you guys shouldn't be showing us that. <laughs> go ahead and put that light down. So today we're going to talk about how you feel. How do you feel? Because to me you look kind of if, as if, how do you say, tired. You look very tired. My name is uh, Tony Lugosi. And I'm a Lugosi. grandson of Bela. So, <laughs> he used to do Dracula. And I don't know if you remember it, but I actually uh, am scared of the dark. So, uh, I'm kidding. I'm a vampire, actually. So, I walk around drinking tomato juice out of the humans. I puncture a hole in their throat, like this. Then I go, <laughs> suck them dry. Baby will pipe right out, like the black man said in the Eddie Murphy movie with the three fat guys. Baby will pop right out. Pop goes the weasel, because the weasel goes pop. You thought I couldn't say that. <laughs> Next week, I'm going to interview Ben Aladdin. Oh, never mind. A guy named Ben that's a Latin. Yes, Ben Latin, but it was close. Anyway, uh, thank you for tuning in, and next week we'll have Britpop. <laughs> no, we won't. We actually are going to go to a... <laughs> to the <laughs> this makes me laugh. We're going to go to the dentist and see all the people with yellow teeth, but to me that's Britpop. So we'll see you guys uh, next time, okay? Stay tuned and uh, remember... Don't, don't close your throat when I come near you. My grandfather used to say to me, snails and puppy dog tails. And I say, <laughs> because I'm not afraid of anything. This is my cousin Larry. He, he used to be a vampire, but I am the vampire. He's the werewolf. See? He, he turns. Show him your hand. Show him your hand. He has hair on it. Look, look at it. Hair on it. Now, when we were kids, we used to get in fights because we saw the movies. And uh, his, Boris Karloff is his grandfather. So his name is Mikhail Karloff. And I was like, I, I'm not impressed. I don't know why, but I just don't laugh at Boris Karloff's jokes. And my mother came to me and slapped me in the face and said, he wasn't a comedian. <laughs> I said, do you know me? Huh? Huh? Exactly, because I listen to punk rock. Do you listen to punk rock? Sir, do you listen to punk rock? Once in a while, <laughs> once in a while, yes I do. And we have a friend named Igor too, but he's not here today. Igor. And, uh, do you listen to it every once in a while? Once in a while. What do you have to say to the viewers? Once in a while. Uh, do you remember Joey? Oh, the one that likes it in the ass. That's the one. <laughs> oh yes, I remember. What do you think ever became of him? I said became of him. Do you get it? <laughs> I remember Peter. Peter had tofu. Remember her? Sure, for Peter? Say well, what? what are you talking about? Say what? Peter Pan? No, Peter, the lesbian uh, Alicot. Oh, yes. Remember the goat? He had a remember big, the... big fucking tail. Tail? Yeah, he had a story behind him. Oh, he, uh, <laughs> I get it. He had the tail. Yeah. Peter, you remember Peter? I remember that fucker. She wanted to attack her cousin Igor Leo. Mm -hmm. And then we have a cousin called Mamo, because his mom was a mummy. Get it? It's not funny. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> so next time, we're going to show you a movie about how the true Hollywood story of the Boris Karloff and the werewolf and the Mexican werewolf, because it is dangerous. Because in Mexico, if you don't have hair by the time you're 12, a mustache, they tease you. I just grew this one last week, and I am 323 years old. What about you? You had a beard when you were born. I'm 12 years old. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> oh, you. I am a pervert. He's a werewolf. He wouldn't hurt a fly. Speaking of the fly, what happened to Moscas? Hey, this is their cousin. He's from Mexico. 
Moscas. Flies. I have moscas all over my dick. Is that shit? <laughs> is that right? <laughs> it's disgusting. So next week we're going to show you the creature named Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Nerda. Goes Salvadorian on people. Goes crazy. Thank you very much for tuning in. And remember, pleasant dreams. Pleasant. <laughs> pleasant dreams. <laughs> Remember, this show was brought to you by Sesame Street and the makers of Fruit Loops. And Calvin Klein. <laughs> and also Obsession. And Calvin Klein. And uh, Ben Gay. And Calvin Klein. Next week, we're going to be reviewing movies and why there should be more creatures. Our uncle sleeping in that their room. There should be more creatures in scary movies. No, no, sorry. In the polit... How do you say? Hold on, let me put this on. I can't read my script. Oh, there should be... Yes, there should be more creatures in Brokeback Mountain. Because when I went to see Brokeback Mountain, I thought there was a guy who broke his back by climbing the mountain. But the man climbed him on the mountain. And if you can't beat the man, you got to beat the man? No. You can't be the man to beat the man. Right? Yeah. <laughs> we'll yeah. see you next week, Lunatics. That's the name of our show. And I'm sticking to it. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye.